So here we are in this video making the super cutest white choker out of beads. Hey you guys, so I was just showing you what we're cooking for dinner. When I say we, I mean me. <laughs> right, we're having Swedish meatballs and I'm making some chicken over rice because I don't wanna have to cook tomorrow. My goal this week is I don't eat enough, right? So I'm doing my best to plan out what I'm gonna make, which I normally do that, but normally I plan it the same day. So I'm trying to make enough that there'll be leftovers. So tomorrow I will, my goal is to eat five small meals, right? So three breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I wanna make a Y necklace, right? It's been years since I made one. That's where it comes around like a choker and then it has a drop in the middle, like a really cute little drop down with a dangly button. It can be anything you want it to be, but we're gonna make a super cute wide necklace. What else do I wanna show you? I think that's it. And I think we're gonna make it with some of the beads we got from Hobby Lobby the other day in conjunction with some beads I already have. So let's get started. because all of these beautiful colored beads came from, where did they come from? Hobby Lobby the other day. And there's actually 360 pieces in here. I mean, you can make a lot of things from this particular pack of beads. I'm thinking that I'm gonna go with this one though. Let me tell you my other dilemma is because these are so pretty and rich looking. They're just calling out my name. I think they make a perfect wine necklace. But I think I've already done stuff that was kind of cowgirlish in style. So I think I wanna go with something like this and I'm trying to figure out the accent beads. So what I'm gonna do is put these on a plate, think about what I'm gonna do as an accent bead for the um, long part of the choker and then go from there. So you're gonna need your string. You already know that I use monofilament fishing wire. This is a huge thing. I think I got it from Walmart. I've had it for forever. I have two of them. I saw where I had another one the other day and I was like, what am I doing with two of these? But anyway, they might've come to, to a pack. You're also gonna need your crimp beads, which are really tiny somewhere in there. Hopefully you can see them. Lobster claw clasp, and you're gonna need actually three jump rings. I have two out, but you're gonna need the Y portion of the necklace too. So this is just for the clasp on the back side. It's probably really easy if you work on a plate. So I get these really cute plates from the Dollar Tree, just so I can work on those. You're gonna need a pair of scissors a pair of round nose pliers. You could use flat nose pliers as well, but I've misplaced mine somewhere. I think my husband has them. And a pair of wire cutters instead of scissors if you choose to use those. So let's get started. The other thing I was thinking about doing was making like a positive statement necklace along with these beads instead of a Y necklace. So, ugh, dilemma. So many choices, so little time. So anyway, let's get started with these beads and then we'll go from there to figure out what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll do two projects. Here I was trying to decide if I wanted to use these purple beads as an accent bead, but they really didn't match. So I was like, eh, never mind. I don't like how that looks. Let's continue.
we're at the halfway point of the necklace and what I'm going to do is this is going to be similar to a choker style but what we're going to do right here is we're going to add our jump ring so that we can have the wide portion of the necklace that actually hangs down. So if you're making a wide necklace, you want to make sure to add the jump ring here. You could do it after you finish, but you don't want to risk like um, not having a good, um, you know, soft layout to your design or tearing or cutting the, um, the thread by accident trying to fit it on there. So I just find that it's easier to add it along the way. And so that way we can attach the rest of the findings that are gonna make the longer portion of the Y um, easier to add. Like if we're gonna add a piece of chain with a dangle, if we're gonna do a um, head pin and eye pin dangles, it just gives us that flexibility. So I'm gonna have to get one more jump ring for the end and I'm gonna go finish stringing this along. But look how beautiful it's gonna be. I love, these are the fluorescent beads and they are really bright, they're really pretty. I really love how they turned out and they have this really matte feeling to them almost like they feel kind of suede like they're not because they don't have fabric on them but they are a really nice So in order for your Y necklace to have movement, you're gonna to wanna to have a couple of eye pins, one head pin to hold the bottom bead that's gonna be the dangle on the bottom, and then you're gonna need some jump rings to attach the head pins because that's gonna give the swing. So remember how we did these earrings yesterday and we wanted the earrings to have movement? So you're gonna want your piece that's dangling from the necklace to have movement as well. So I found these hot pink beads. I was gonna do like a black, but I felt like it took away from the necklace. So because I want this to hang pretty long, or at least in, um, like down to maybe mid chest, I think that'll be really pretty. So we want like a, I'm trying to decide if I want, I think I want the bigger bead on the bottom because you want that to be the part that sways the most. So we're gonna use one of these beads on the bottom. And let me just show you what we're going for. So this is our necklace and we're gonna attach it here. And we want the Y portion of the necklace to hang down almost like a rosary. So a rosary is a Y style necklace. Um, but of course this isn't a rosary. But you could make those. I mean, they're very popular. I just don't think people should wear rosaries as fashion jewelry, but that's just me, who am I, right? So let's go ahead and make the Y portion of our necklace, and it can be any design that you want. I'm just making mine this way. I'm gonna fill this um, head pin up, and then we're gonna attach it to the eye pins, and we're gonna add more of the pink beads so it'll have like a dangle. So we're already at the top here. I think I can add two more beads, and we wanna leave enough room where we can make our ring up here. So one more bead and we'll would have had enough on there where we still can take our round nose pliers 
and make a really nice curve. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one of the jump rings. Now you could add multiple dangles here if you want, but I'm not doing that. I'm just making a single strand necklace, but you could add multiple strands. I mean, you can get as creative as you want. So we have that one done. So this is how it would look so far if we just let it dangle this way from the bead, I mean, from the necklace. But I think I want it just a little bit longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eye pins and we're gonna add a few more beads in here. And I think we're actually gonna take a small bead and a large bead. So we're gonna take one of our little baby pink beads, one of the focal point beads that we've been using to make the necklace, and then another pink bead. And that's gonna be the end of that little section. So we want it long, but just not too long where it doesn't the design doesn't look right. So this is kind of what I envision. So now what we're doing is we're taking it, bending it back. We're gonna add our other jump ring here. We're just closing up the eye pin. And then we're gonna take this jump ring and we're gonna attach it to our other design that we've already made, the little piece that we have right here. I'm trying to, maybe we don't need both jump rings, let's see. We don't need both jump rings. I'm just gonna attach them, let the eye pin that's already on here attach to this jump ring. So let's take that one off. Cause that would just be too much open space. We don't need that. We're gonna close that back up. And then what we're gonna do so that doesn't come off is remember what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it together as close as we can and then we're gonna clamp down. Okay, you guys, so, so look how beautiful it turned out. So I'm getting ready to make a pair of earrings to go with it. That's really And listen, pretty, I mean, I this is just the plainness of so those beads, how pretty they are. They go really cute pin. with this shirt. It'll be, this will look really pretty with a white bead. shirt, a blue jean or denim one, shirt, a any color probably that you want to wear will look really good. But I mean, that's just the fluorescent beads that we got from Hobby Lobby. We made a super cute little wide necklace. I'm going to make some earrings to go with it now. And I'll show you how we're going to make those as well. Don't throw those away when you cut them off because you can actually use those to make eye pins. And we'll do that in another tutorial. So let's put, close this up and then we're gonna put our jump ring on here so we can go ahead and attach it to the top of the necklace. So see, we attach here to close up our design. I'm gonna clamp down one more time. I feel like I opened that up. So let's close that. I'm just pushing it closer together. So it stays tight. Push it down. And then we're gonna open up our jump ring that's in the center of the necklace. Let me make sure it hasn't moved. So it's still in the center. So we're gonna open this one up and then we're gonna add our design to it. And we're gonna add the Y portion of the necklace, which is the long dangle piece we just made. And don't worry, I'm gonna try it on so you can see what it looks like. Let's close it up. I mean, look how fast you can whip these up. I'm just taking time because you know you really couldn't make all the components I will make the ahead of time. But look how pretty this you can is. See them though, but look way. how sweet they are. They have tons of movement. I'll show it that way. And so they're gonna look really great is. with look our wine choker. So let's do the bottom. So, then, so remember I'll we try added, and I'll try not to cut it too short. Let's go ahead and make the earrings to go with it. We're just gonna make some long You can do these components in advance of putting them together. A lot of people do that. So that way it's just easier to guide everything together once you finish it up. So we're going to close this up. I have to grab two jump rings and then let's go ahead and make the other components. So to make that top piece, we had two pink beads. We had our one purple and fuchsia colored bead, two more of the little pink beads. And then that way we'll have the components already put together that we need for the earrings. That's how it looks. Super cute. Sorry for being out of frame for a second. Gonna go ahead and close this up. Basically, we're closing up our eye pin. So we have two pieces for the components. And now all we need are two smaller jump rings. I'm gonna grab those right quick to 
and this, should this is a super cute set and so I know I keep talking about so sewing we're gonna make stuff sure because many of you are so talented and creative you could um, easily be seen a focus be at the next store your big cartel store so and make an extra this. money from your let's phone. do the same Let me design grab that we on. did on the necklace but here on the earring so we're going to do one little pink bead one purple pink bead and then another pink bead and then let's cut these off with our wire cutters and then let's turn them inward with our round nose pliers and then let's go ahead and add a my jump ring tried to jump off let's add the jump ring which is just not being cooperative you may hear my son back there in the background I think he's filling up the water. So this one is just not wanting to cooperate. Let me just see if I can do it this way. Ooh, I'm gonna scream. Okay, you guys, so what do you think of our Y necklace and so our matching so, earrings? I think they came out really beautiful. I think that I this is a perfect, flat, easy set for you to make with your children, for you to make as a so gift, right? We keep talking about that, that, but look, I think they came out beautiful. And I love them, and they're gonna be going up in the Etsy store probably tomorrow. And I have another idea I wanna share with you. Let me get dinner done, and then we'll see if we can share one more project, right? But I think this came out pretty great. I love it.